There are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to storing produce and no two foods are the same. Hi, my name is Courtney and today we're gonna to be talking about some really great food storage tips. Let's first talk about the different parts of the refrigerator. So let's start with our proteins. They should always be stored on the bottom shelf. So the reason for that is because if there's any sort of leakage from your meats, you don't want that dripping onto anything else. So we want to avoid cross-contamination and keep that on the bottom shelf. Let's talk about our dairies. So that's your milk, your creams, your butters, your sour cream. All of that should never go on the fridge door. We always want that in the back, close to the refrigerator fans to make sure that it stays nice and cold. So most of these drawers are going to have vents with these little sliders that allow you to control the humidity in each one of these drawers. And so we recommend that you have one drawer with the humidity set low and another one with that humidity set high. A nice way to remember what goes where is rot low, wilt high. So if what you're storing in the drawer has the propensity to rot, then you want that humidity lever to be low. If what you're storing in the drawer tends to wilt, you want that humidity lever to be high. Another little saying we like to keep in our pocket so we can remember these things is store it how it's grown. Things like potatoes, garlic, onions, all of those things, they grow underground. So it's really important for us to store them in a dark, cool space. Now we're gonna talk about how to store herbs. My biggest problem. Uh, over the years, I have gotten rid of so many herbs because I didn't store them properly. A nice little trick we have here is to take a clean paper towel, a handful of herbs, and we're just gonna wrap them. Once they're all nice and wrapped, you're gonna take a little bit of water, you'll splash them on your paper towel, and you'll just put them in the fridge. If you wanna learn more about the different types of herbs and how to properly store them, check out the link below. There's a whole video on it. If you've learned something so far in this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you think. So some of the things you can store out in a bowl on top of your counters are things like your onions, your potatoes, your tomatoes. So as long as it's not in direct sunlight, like this kitchen right here, it's nice and dry and cool and out of the direct sunlight, you can definitely store them in a beautiful bowl on top of your counters and it also looks just really nice. So now let's talk about the importance of buying really only what you're going to use and minimizing food waste. If you wanna learn more about that, we have a really great video, How to Reduce Food Waste, where you'll learn about the importance of minimizing food waste and the impact it has on our planet. Check out the link below for the full video. Storing food can sometimes be a little tricky and is not the most intuitive thing, but cooking should never be hard. That's why our sauces are the best sidekick to keep on hand at all times. Packed with tons of flavor, our sauces can be used on anything. Just pop them in the fridge and take them out when you need to make an easy weeknight meal. You can find all of our sauces on havenskitchen.com or check out our store locator to find them in a grocery store near you. Remember, they will always be in the refrigerated section because we have no preservatives whatsoever. Comment below with any questions you have and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.